Coming up, an organization in Brownsville is helping asylum seekers with food, water, and shelter. Details ahead. Plus, more on seasonal affective disorder and how it could be affecting you this spring. And information on the consequences of sun exposure. KVAQ TV starts now. Hey Vaqueros, welcome back. This is the ninth spring edition of KVAQ TV. I'm Felix Balderas. And I am Eduardo Gomez. Today is Monday, March 20th, and at the top of the newscast. More asylum seekers and different ethnicities now crossing the U.S. and Mexico border. Team Brownsville, a nonprofit organization, is providing humanitarian assistance to the asylum seekers in and out of the U.S. Team Brownsville co-founder Andrea Botnik says. So for a while, like in the fall, we were getting up to 600 people a day. At that time, were just mostly Nicaraguans. I would say like, it was like 95% Nicaraguan. We're getting a lot of Chinese, Chinese men. We got someone on Saturday from Syria. You know, he came a long way. Um, we've also gotten Vietnamese, also men. Um, lately, we have gotten some people from Belize, which surprised me. Some Russian people, some people from like the break off republics. Um, around Russia, like Georgia, uh, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan. Rutnik says Team Brownsville is currently anticipating Title 42 lift in May, which could change the current operation methods. Team Brownsville works daily out of their Welcome Center located at the corner of Adams and 14th Street in Brownsville. They accept donations and create the fundraisers to provide asylum seekers to food and clothing. You can follow their organization on Facebook at Team Brownsville or using their website teambrownsville.org. Spring is now rolling in, bringing sunny skies and longer days with it. But the spring season can also bring unexpected changes in mood and feelings. Most people are familiar with seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, a condition that causes depressive behavior among adults and commonly occurs in the winter. But less people are familiar with its opposite variant, spring SAD. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, Summer pattern SAD can cause depressive episodes during spring and summer. Specific symptoms include trouble sleeping, poor appetite, restlessness and agitation, anxiety, and episodes of violent behavior. People who experience winter SAD tend to live at latitudes far north or south of the equator, meaning less sunlight and colder temperatures. However, for people closer to the equator, like here in the valley, summer SAD is more common. Getzele Covarrubias, a sophomore at UTRGV, shares her thoughts on the possible triggers of SAD here in the valley. In the winter, since our culture here in the valley is, well, mainly Hispanics, um, we have a lot of fun. It's where we're with family and we eat a lot. The food is really good. I mean, after all the eating and all the fun, um, people want to get ready for the summer. So it's that time in the spring where they're like, oh man, I went really ham on in the winter. So, and they have more time to themselves. So I feel like that could contribute. For those who experience symptoms of SAD, the UTRGV Health Center offers free and confidential mental health counseling online and in person for all students. For KVAQ TV in Edinburgh, Tristan Cortez. After the break, we'll learn more about the consequences of sun exposure and preventive measures. KVAQ TV is sponsored in part by student activities at UTRGV, which will host along with campus partners, Academy Award winning actress and activist Marley Matlin as the featured speaker of this year's Distinguished Speaker Series. The event will take place at 7.30 p.m. March 22nd in the Texas Southmost College Performing Arts Center in Brownsville. Doors open at 7 p.m. For more information, visit utrgv.edu slash DSS. I'm Brianna Garcia, and this is KVAQ TV. Con la temporada de calor acercándose, es muy común que aumente la exposición solar. De acuerdo a la Fundación de Cáncer de Piel, uno de cada cinco americanos desarrollará cáncer de piel para la edad de 70 años. El daño solar en nuestras células es acumulativo. Cuanto más tiempo pase, las quemaduras afectan el ADN, causando la posible creación de cáncer. De acuerdo a Mayo Clinic, algunos factores que pueden aumentar el riesgo de cáncer en la piel son lunares, exposición a radiación y un sistema inmunológico débil. 
dermatólogo y tricólogo Fidencio Gutiérrez dice que el uso de sombrillas, sombreros, protector solar y ropa con protección solar puede ayudar a minimizar la exposición a los rayos ultravioleta. Que hay que evitar la exposición solar, lo que viene siendo en horas pico. ¿Cuáles son las horas pico? Las horas más fuertes son las horas central del día, que es a, las 11, a partir de las 11 de la mañana hasta las 4 o 5 de la tarde. Si eres de piel grasa, regularmente los jóvenes son ahorita con piel grasa, la, la tendencia es utilizar a unos que sean en gel, que son libres de aceite, con base de agua. De acuerdo a la Fundación de Cáncer de Piel, se recomienda checar por manchas de los pies a la cabeza cada mes, ya que la detección temprana de cáncer tiene alta posibilidad de ser curable. Si piensa ir a tomar sol esta semana, Gutiérrez recomienda mantenerse hidratado, ya que la exposición solar puede causar deshidratación y afectar la salud de la piel. With more than 50 graduate programs in an accelerated online, campus-based or online format, UTRGV will be hosting the 2023 Graduate Fair. The Graduate Fair will provide students with information about funding, graduate programs, and the application process. Attendants will have the chance to connect with faculty and participate in a drawing for a $500 scholarship by filling out an evaluation or starting an application. Students can also learn about research projects, assistantships, and other hands-on experience opportunities in each field of study. Sometimes, as a prospective student, you're unsure about which program you want to pick. So this is the one time a year that all the faculty are together that you can ask questions from one program to another. The graduate fair will take place March 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Grand Salon in the Brownsville campus. The first 300 attendees will receive a free commemorative t-shirt. For more information, contact gradcentral at utrgv.edu. And that's a wrap. Make sure to watch us Monday through Friday on VCAST monitors and social media. For KVAQ-TV, I'm Felix Balderas. And I am Eduardo Gomez. See you next week.